Welcome to my channel. Hello, my name is Yuko. Thank you for stopping by. Our last frost day is May 22nd and it's coming really soon next week. Uh, keep a few hours in the house or uh, garage. But um, I'm just gonna show you what's outside right now. So here is the carrots, the baby carrots. It says the crispy crunch. Um, I purchased it from Lowe's, I believe, and transplanted and separate like a little space between. And then they're in a big, large pot. So hopefully we can harvest them soon. And this one, lettuce, it's a miniature, um, tiny lettuce. Um, they can fit in my hand. Anyway, so they, uh, this, the bigger one is, I grew in a house first and then transplanted it. And then this other one that's between the space, I just, I just planted the other more seeds so they can fill up the container. And then this one, uh, the garlic chives is good for stir fries and stuff. I sowed the seeds last year, harvested a lot last season, and I kept it in here, the same container that, that I used last year, and it's, it will grow back and it, it is getting tall and then looking good. And this one is the um, Job's Tears. Let's see, from last year. I cut the top, it got super tall. So here's the seeds, the bees that I planted. And then I harvested the bees and I made a bracelet. Anyway, so I was thinking, grow, but I'm not sure if they're gonna grow back. We'll see. And this one is called a purple bell pepper that I purchased the other day. And then it should be uh, look more darker than regular uh, purple color. So which almost crossed to uh, black. So we'll see. And then this one is, this one is the, right here. Broccolini, they grow the long stem like uh, asparagus, and then on the top, of course, the, it's broccoli. And I had, I tasted before, and it's so yummy. So why not growing them? And then this one right here is that purple cauliflower. Yeah, so they grow in a uh, purple leaf and they're awesome. So that's why I got, I got two each in this carbonized pot. And here I have a bamboo, bamboo, bamboo steak, but nothing in here yet. Uh, I'm going to plant dragon tongue beans. I grew them last year. It was so delicious. I harvested every day, non-stop growing. And next, right here, is that uh, sun sugar. Look like red to me, 
or like orange, but we'll see. Well, they still in the cup, the other pepper too, because I did not have a time to plant it in the soil. So I'm just pressing in the soil so that this uh, planter, that little cup, doesn't get dry out quickly because that I water it outside too. So I will plant them as soon as possible. Okay. And next here is the purple kale. It's a little uh, curry uh, virgin and the um, stem is super bright purple and then they're growing lots of new leaf in the middle. And next this is the Japanese eggplant. Ichiban type. Ichiban is the number one in Japanese. Two plants in it and it's still small. I wanted it to have this high but they, they were small and this is the biggest one that I got and still in the cup so I, will, I need to plant it as ASAP. Next here is the um, purple radish it's growing and some bugs eating the leaves but that's okay I'm more focusing on the root I need to spread them out so I'm gonna take the leaf so keep the space between I do that later and this one is the black um, radish. This is purple. This is black. And they're doing the same thing. They're growing very well. And this one is the, let me see, three containers that this is stuck, the tower containers. So I can put this in on the top but if i can do that with my hand one hand right here and it, this goes on the top so i like it i got it from the amazon and i have green basil purple and green basil and purple crinkle basil, waffle basil. Yum, yum. And this is a chives, parsley, growing wonderfully. So yummy, I love parsley. And then, of course, rosemary. Okay, next, um, I have a Korean perilla. I bought the, um, the seed earlier. The label was saying on the package was saying shiso, which means Japanese perilla. So that's why I bought it. But I, as soon as I opened the package, I knew it was not shiso seed, which is Japanese uh, perilla seed. So, but I planted it anyway. I planted it in a nursery pot in a house and then only one grew. This, this one is still small, but um, this is red, um, purple, um, seed, uh, no seed, um, basil. And this one is more another Korean peridus, a seed that I got from my husband's friend. And then yeah, it's getting too much sun, so I have to put this in, in the house real soon. But this is so good. Yummy. And then, this one is the, my cucumelon. Yeah, I planted in the, the nursery pot. And I, I was trying to plant outside, but it was too early and then it will just dry out 
super quickly and then it's not getting well and then I purchased extra one and this one is from the Bonnie company same cucumber, cucumber melon so hopefully they both grow they are still growing so I'm not losing hope yet but um yeah they just dry out real little bit and this one is the yellow and um, burgundy marigold and this one is white uh, marigold that I'm growing from seed okay okay and uh, this one is Oh, so bright I can't really see the screen I hope you can see but this one is the purple potato I planted in here it's growing it's poking on some um, stems it's there so they're doing okay good you see little leaf coming in can you see there the purple potatoes no not sweet and this one um planted um i grew the potato strip and i grew in the house and then i planted but as you can see, it dry out. Um, I went to the Chicago trip because I have to get the passport. So in four days, this is happening. So I pull one, it's dry out. So, but um, I'm trying to see, I'm trying to show you what's going on. Yeah, it just, I think it's cold damage and um, yeah, loot is still looking good, but the, here, it's dying. So I'm gonna pull all them out right now. Okay, I guess that that should be good. So anyway, so this have to go bye bye, and then I come up with the idea. I bought another same exact thing. It was in the water, and then kept it in here in the water for. A few days, it grew a little bit of the roots, and I'm gonna plant them in here. Okay, so I'm just gonna plant it in here. Wish me luck. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I hope. I can grow some potatoes. Okay, then I'm right here by the fence. Um, I have all the grow bags and then soil in it already. I bought the 25 packs, so I have been using for several years now. You can see the soil in here. And then this is a uh, seven gallon, but I rolled the top so it can stay a little round or st steady. Not like moving around. 
And then I put the uh, the little jute uh, net. So uh, I'm going to plant cucumber here, and the other goes to other half goes. Uh, I'm going to plant some a loofah. So wish me luck. Um, they all climbers climbing up uh, on the trellis or a little net so hopefully they will grow well for me because we have a uh, short um, growing season so I'm not sure that if they can get produce um, fruit but um, fingers crossed by the way, the plants are still in the house under the grow right. I will show you the later on. Um, here is spinach. I had many of them, but I ate them. A bunch of them. It grew super tall, like this big, and it was super full. So I picked them um, both sides, and this is what we have right now. It's so yummy. It, it, it's good. And they, they don't like uh, full sun, so they're staying by the fence, so they don't get really full sun, but they just get the little sun here. But they're staying outside the whole time. Okay, guys, so I almost forget my strawberry plants. I made a video. I planted this three uh, pink flowered plant uh, strawberries, and then they keep putting up some beautiful flowers. Like, see, beautiful. And the other day, I saw the one with uh, white creamy color, but it turned pink. So, and then someone snapped the stem. I don't know who did it, maybe birds, I don't know. And I had uh, the shepherd uh, hook was on the, sticking on the ground, but um, that thing was too short uh, from the ground, too close to the, the ground, so, um, I return it to the store and I just hang it in here by the fence door hook. So it's right here and then it's a little steadier and then little shady area, but it's still good. How come I forget this beautiful plants? Three plants in it and they're doing well. I keep the soil slightly moist. They're beautiful. Okay, let's move on to the next. Okay, I'm in the garage now. This is the Swiss chard that I purchased from the other nursery. And um, the nursery from the um, local farm so I planted in uh, one to five spot and then I had more seeds so I planted in the between so they're growing pretty well yep so and they don't like staying um, through sun they get just they lay on the soil they don't stand it up so i have to keep them uh in the garage the cooler area for a little bit but they do like sun so but they're still baby so i have to adjust the um, the time for them okay this is the beat um the baby beets and um, 
as you can see, when I put them outside, they just don't like the sun. I don't know. They just go like wrinkly. So I have to keep them eyes on them because, you know, some of them are standing up. Some of them are looking down. So that's why I have to keep them in the garage by the window. And the last one is the lettuce, um, red, purple, um, green lettuce mix. I purchased from the garden center and they're growing very well. I'm going a solid bowl, this shallow container. Just scrape it and they regrow. And they don't like uh, too much sun, so I have to keep it in a cooler area, which is they are staying in the garage now. Yeah, but I I will put them outside, very uh, close to the the fence, so they don't get full sun. Yeah, but they're growing well. Okay, so here's the plant that I have. This is the dragon tom beans, like this. Purple and creamy color uh, bush beans. And this one is the loofah. Hang on, show you the name. Gars. Um, dishcloth loofah and yeah so they're growing quite well they just you know cramming on things each, cramming on each other hugging each other and I have seeds so I can plant them plant a uh, actual plant then um, um seeds uh between the seedlings so that's what i did last year and um this is first time i'm going but I, this is uh i plant the plants and the seeds and then they both did very well so yeah that's what i do Okay, so this is the last one that I'm going to show you. That's the white tomatoes. I know it's sunburned. I uh, put them outside a little bit. It was all green, but now it's burning. Still doing okay, but not sure if they gonna survive, but hopefully they will be okay. And this one is the honey, golden honey pepper. Um, they're doing well. So yes, they, they were going to go outside soon, but yeah, it's getting warmer, but it gets cold in the nighttime. So hopefully um, it will just stay warm not too cold not freeze so it does not get fun like this okay so that's it i will plant all of them soon outside so i can show you all the complete look so stay tuned for the other videos and please don't forget to subscribe and please give a thumbs up that helped me a lot thank you so much for watching and see you next time